This is an Android home screen. A recognizable scene with some apps, maybe a widget or two, and not much else. No matter how you customize it, home screens always function the same way. Until now. Zone Launcher fundamentally changes and improves the way in which you use your phone. And I'm a huge fan. Let's get started. Now before we get into this, I would like to do a bit of a quick channel update. I've been making a lot of Chromebook related videos recently, but do not worry, I am still working on Android videos in the meantime. I'm also planning on upgrading my editing rig soon, so stay tuned for that. Finally, I would like to thank everyone for the recent support on the channel. Let's keep that going. And final note now, this video isn't sponsored in any way. This is all my mostly unbiased opinion. Anyways, the basic concept behind Zone Launcher is that instead of going to the home screen and tapping your fingers to open apps, you just slide in from the side of your phone and open the app from there. This is a one-touch process in that as soon as you lift your finger, either an action will take place or Zone Launcher will disappear from view. This makes the process of opening apps easy and efficient. In addition, there is also a sidebar with an alphabetic list of all of your apps for easy access to everything. Now, Zone Launcher is a free app on the Play Store, which is already great. Even better, there are no ads, and the dev is super responsive. When you first download the app, you're greeted with this screen, which shows you the basic concept of the app. Drag from the side of the screen and complete an action. You then have to select your dominant hand, in my case, right, and enable some permissions for the app to work. Don't worry, these don't give away your privacy or anything. These just allow the app to be on top of any other app you're using. From there, the customization begins. By default, all you get are empty circles on a plain black background. Somewhat disappointing. Trust me though, it gets a lot better. Inside the swipe in interface, in the bottom left, is a little settings icon. Hover over it, release your finger, and you'll be taken to the edit menu. From here, you can customize the shortcuts, triggers, appearance, and more. This menu is also where the name of the launcher comes in. Zones. You can add categories, known as zones, for different groups of apps or shortcuts in the launcher. For example, you may want a social zone, a work zone, a utility zone, and an other zone. In each zone, you can add apps, shortcuts, or quick toggles. Some of the quick toggles include taking a screenshot, locking the screen, quickly switching apps, or turning on the flashlight. So now I've taken the time to set up a pretty nice layout of apps and shortcuts, but now is a great time to look at the more cosmetic customization options. Firstly, under triggers, you can change the area where the app will recognize your finger, or add multiple for easy access. This is pretty self-explanatory. Appearance settings is where it really gets interesting. You can change the background wallpaper or color, edit or remove the selection ring, change the text color, and more. However, my favorite feature is the ability to change your icon pack. Zone Launcher actually lets you choose any icon pack you have installed, making the experience so much more customizable. If you'd like inspiration for some icon packs, I actually made a video about it. The link is on screen and in the description. Anyways, after you mess with the experience settings to your liking, you get a beautiful, functional, and fast way to open apps, multitask, and navigate your phone. I really enjoy the convenience and simplicity of this launcher. The quick swiping gestures allow you to navigate at outstanding speeds and minimize unnecessary home screen usage. I personally have reduced my normal home screen to just a few apps, and that's really mostly for looks. I just can't recommend Zone Launcher enough. Once I had it installed, I was hooked on the convenience and speed. As usual, the link is in the description if you are interested. For now though, this marks the end of the video. If you enjoyed, it'd be awesome if you would leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the video and the channel as a whole. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.